Hey everybody! I'm here today to tell you to do this whenever you're caulking a bathroom fixture. This is actually a simple and easy plumbing hack, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, I have this new bathroom fixture in my basement bathroom. This is actually a new shower panel that I recently installed. And I just finished caulking it, and I want to tell you about a little trick that you can use with pretty much any plumbing bathroom fixture. And you should do this, because it makes it extra safe with regards to leaking and stuff like that. It's just something that you want to do it's a great common practice so I'm gonna turn the camera around I'm gonna get behind the screen actually I just realized that this is chrome and it doubles as a mirror which is great that's fantastic for shaving my head in the shower okay anyways back to the plumbing hack you take a look right here we have this shower panel okay and it's secure it's on the wall there's only a little hole behind it like this for the supply lines to come through but I wanted to caulk it with silicone caulking anyways just because it's sitting on hooks so it can technically shift left and right it probably won't but I figured that you know I might as well caulk it with some silicone so that it doesn't move and it's watertight so as you can see right here what I did was I put the bead of caulking all along either side of it from top to bottom okay now first of all I didn't go on the top because no water can get up there because the uh, the shower the highest uh, supply is the shower right here which is right there so I didn't go on top of it but I did go all the way down the sides now what's the plumbing hack Mike well I'm getting to it hold your horse if you take a look over here, I actually stopped caulking right there and I didn't caulk underneath and I'll tell you why. Let's say I'm in the unfortunate situation where there's a water leak behind the plumbing fixture, behind the bathroom fixture. So there's water leaking behind there, okay? If I had caulked around the entire thing, completely around the perimeter, all that water would end up going into the wall. And I probably wouldn't even know that there was a leak behind there. But because I left what I like to call a plumbing fault line, which is the fact that there's no caulking underneath there, because I left that, if there ever is, if there ever is by any chance a leak back there, which I hope that there won't be, but if there ever is a leak, the water will drip down here from behind the fixture, which will number one, alert me of the leak, and number two, it will prevent the water from building enough, building up enough to go into the wall, okay? Because the supply lines, I believe, are around this level. So if it's leaking down, it's going to leak out here, and I'll be able to see it. And that is because I didn't seal the entire perimeter, okay? Now I'm going to show you, uh, I actually have a toilet over here, and I didn't install this toilet. My wife and I recently got this house. Um, let's move my uh, buzzer out of the way there, my trimmer out of the way. But uh, I didn't install this toilet. Um, someone else did. It was already like this. But with the toilet, they've actually caulked all around the toilet. But what they could have done, and they went all the way to the back there, what they could have done was they could have left an opening of caulking where there's no silicone, let's say, at the back of the toilet. This way, if there is a leak in the toilet, in terms of the drainage of the toilet, okay, it's connected to a pipe under there, a big drain pipe, but if there is a leak, then the water has a way to escape out, which like I said, number one tells me that there's a leak because I'll be able to see the water pooling up there at the back, okay? And number two, it gives the water a fault escape place. This way, if there is a leak, it's not caught under there. If you caulk around the entire perimeter of a plumbing fixture, if there is a leak, it builds up in there and it's gonna go somewhere and it's gonna eat away at potentially the subfloor underneath this. But if I leave an opening back there, if they had left the opening back there, if I redo it and I leave an opening back there, then it gives the water a place to escape. So the plumbing hack is this, whenever you are caulking a plumbing fixture, at the bottom of the plumbing fixture, or at the back, somewhere where it's not noticeable, but where the water, where gravity will allow the water to go, okay, so at the bottom of it, let's say, or at the back of a toilet, leave an opening in the silicone bead of caulking, because this way it gives the water a place to escape. Hopefully it never leaks, but if it does, you're gonna number one, be alerted of the leak, because you'll be able to see it, and number two, it gives the water a place to escape, which is better than it going behind the walls or underneath the floor or anything like that. And that's it! If you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching